the door lock on the driver door seems to be stuck. Will not unlock. So I'm gonna pull this panel off and see what we can see in here. about four screws down at the bottom thankfully are not blocked by the seat two screws there and that probably has some kind of pin that needs to come out so let's get all the screws and move on to that Four screws at the bottom. Let's throw those in the gum box so we don't lose them. Gotta clean the gunk out of these, it's getting hard to turn them. Get the screw in there for the screwdriver. Okay, there's like three different ways that I know of to take this off. Four if you include the uh, actual tool that does this, which I'll probably order one day. But uh, one method I really like is using the red shop towels. I've seen one mechanic do that and it makes quick work of these clips. If you get a string in behind in here and fish the clip out, um, that might work, but a bread little twist tie would work better. Make a little loop with a twist tie and you can kind of fish that out after you push the panel in. You've got a little difficult situation here with this padding in between the, or this ring in between the crank handle and the, the door panel here. It's making it kind of hard to see if I should go under the, this ring or on top of the ring. I can't really see in there. Oh, there's the clip, okay. So we'll go on top of the ring. This is where the red bag twist, twisties would work good because it holds its shape and you can twist it up and fish it in there. Um, red shop towel might work in that, but I cannot find one. So let's just use my arm sleeve and see if that'll work. Just want to catch an edge of the pin. Arm sleeve is a little too stretchy. Can also use a little hook. Actually, that might be easier in this situation since I can see it. Oops, I just knocked the uh, rear view mirror off getting in here. That's just some sticky stuff. Okay, I forgot we had baling twine. This stuff works pretty good. Let's get it on top of the ring. Looks like that's actually going this way. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's supposed to come up from the bottom, but I think somebody had this in upside down. 
And the seal was not helping me see that. Bottom. Okay, we'll leave that in there. So when I'm ready, I'll just push, push it right back on. Oh, I missed a screw. One more screw up and above the handle. Here we got a crooked bolt. So that's just how it is. Okay, why is this not working? I guess the key can be seized. That's attached to that. There it goes. Wasn't too hard. And it feels like something's catching. some grease on that pin which is the key cylinder lever yeah it kind of just looks like things are binding up a little bit from uh, from the grease being old and drying out or getting worn out that pin on that lock definitely looks dry and you can even see some shiny metal wear you know wear spot on it so I'll get some grease on there I'm also having a problem with this door just also seizing up same thing Forty in a spray bottle, which I love. Little spray cans always run out of pressure. This is awesome. Not the best lubricant, but um, it is on my list to get like an oiler, oiler can. So I can just I'm gonna start squirting motor oil and everything. It's like some light 1030 or something. Just like that. Probably won't last. I need to get some thicker oil. But uh, I think that should do for now. I can get my grease gun in that door though. So I'll go get some, some grease for that lock. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Do the same on this side. 
Yeah, I'll never go back to spray cans. Well, they're kind of handy because they don't make a mess. If this tips over, it can leak out. But, uh, so yeah, I guess we'll stick with the spray cans for portability. But the last three I got were, uh, yeah, they got through like half the can before the pressure quit working. And yes, I do put the air compressor up to it and re-pump up the can, but it's a pain in the butt. So, I am a big fan of this. Two spots I can get to that could use it. I got one of these little mini grease guns, whatever that's called, utility gun. By Dualco, it's a made in the USA tool. Very nice. Dualco Houston. Uh, that might work. No, maybe not. So let's just put some on my finger and smear it in there. So I got a little grease here. Some good stuff. Do this by feel. Almost. If I get that in there a little deeper. that grease stuff really good. Let's get this back linkage. Spot on linkage here. I could take out the mechanism and grease this up a little better. But uh don't want to put too much time into this right now. up the door latch pin should help a little bit with uh, ease of function The other side, all right, let's put the door back together. I think that was it. Just needed a little grease. Short stubby one goes above the handle. Four down below. I really like to uh, put some effort into making sure I don't cross thread stuff. So I will. Uh, Start the screw by going backward until it clicks or until it finds the start of the thread. It kind of pops down into place. 
gives me an indication of where the start of the threads are. A lot of people just like to ram screws in, but it will eventually wear out the thread on the hole, in the hole. So I like taking extra care to make sure things don't uh, wear out quicker than they need to. Uh, a little sharp rock or a pick or something to clear out this. Um, these Phillips screw heads because they are filling up with gunk and making it hard to get a grip with them with these screwdriver. Sometimes just put the screwdriver in there and kind of grind it out. That's looking kind of crusty though, like it might have got moisture on it, so that might not clear out too easily without a pick. I'll go find a pick real quick. Alright, I got this cleaned up pretty good. If that was any worse, I would just replace it, because the last thing you want to do is put in a bad screw and not be able to get it out later. Back in action. Double check with the keys. All right, good to go. Easy fix. seems to be working it's no longer uh, dying when it's cold don't have to keep my foot on the throttle that's super awesome all right let's park it before the coolant starts leaking or before the pressure builds up it's probably leaking a little bit
my mirror back on. <laughs> get some glue or something, or maybe just a new one of those little metal pieces that it attaches to. All right, Jimmy, get you in out of the rain because I'm still not too sure if your doors even leak. I thought they did, but maybe that's just from uh, the door being kind of left open like that. All right, Jimmy, you're all dried out, running good. A little leaky but we'll fix that here soon run great lots of other things too lots of stuff coming up stay tuned everybody thank you for watching